We had to go back to these schools and we had to understand how this residential school and all this abuse had taken place over our people. We have the highest rate of First Nations people in your systems, the highest rate. We also have the highest rate in suicides. How many people out there know that my people have the highest rate of, of, of teen youth, our youth are dying every day because they cannot handle the realities that, that are out there once they leave the reserves. It clashes. And that's why you're here. Sadly to say, yes. Yeah. Uh, talk about this. I have a history in this. My sister was, was was Mona Lee Wilson. She was one of the six victims. And as we speak right now, there's an inquiry going on in, in Vancouver right now that I'm supposed to be part of. But this is more important to me because this is real. This is not dictated. This is controlled by that fire. She didn't deserve to die that way. And nobody was there to protect her. And we went to the downtown east side, the Vancouver Police Department, for years, indicating that there was a serial killer in the downtown east side. And what did they say? They denied it. But we knew. We knew, we knew, we knew. And then it wasn't until a Caucasian woman went missing and on the highway of tears when the world was finally became aware. You got a lot of support from the Native community here? We do. Yeah. And they're coming in all the time. We want the Harper government to know that we care for our people. I've been involved in a few searches this year of missing girls, and there was no police at all. This is a lack of cooperation that we get from the community because they don't know, they don't understand what's going on here. So can you tell us if, if the fire department were to come in and say, look, this fire's not permitted, it's gotta be out. What does that mean to the Native community? Look, where this does is that a, leave you? This is a sacred fire. It is like a church. It needs to be protected and honored. The fire department has been working daily with us. They've come in here every day, make sure that the, the fire extinguishers were full, that there was water there, and they worked with us. And some of them made a comment that they support us. We had the chief of police here last week, walking here by himself. Him too indicated. He was here because he wanted to make sure that that public asway access was, was open. Mm -hmm. So together we're working for issues here, okay? So what we need to do is we need to start addressing these issues rather than ignoring them. Excellent. Just get your name one more time. It's Jason Fleury. J-A-Y-S-O-N-F-L-E-U-R-Y. I'm from the Old Cheese First Nations, which is in Alberta.